What's up, comic and pop culture fans? It's James with Midhunter Comics, and I'm going to go check out a collection. Don't have the highest hopes. From the sounds of it, it is pretty bulky, but we're certainly going to take a look. Hopefully, there's something hiding in there that could make it worth the trip. So, I got something. They were definitely right. This was absolutely bulk. I couldn't record because it was a landlord's building who was having a very heated altercation with the tenant while I was there. It was a little awkward, so I was definitely in the mood to look at the boxes quick and kind of get home as fast as I possibly could. Well, the first couple boxes I looked at, I don't think I pulled a single book out of them. They were so bulk to the point where it was bulk that I don't even buy. That's pretty rare. 90s and 2000s indie stuff that were in rough condition and not even number ones. It was so unpickupable. But I did get some things. Again, I might have missed a lot, and there might have been entire boxes that I didn't even get to check out, quite honestly. But I did get something. So the question is, was this even worth the gas? Gas, tolls, and money that I spent on this, I'm probably about 100 bucks into this. Let's see if we can recoup that. I'm honestly not entirely sure. I looked so quickly that I just don't know. Uh, this is the first appearance of Max Blood Wolf. That's a decent one right there. Off of memory, I thought X-Men 179 was a key. I could be wrong. 154, I believe, is a smaller key. Some value could be there. Now, you'll notice that this collection did have duplicates. Some of them did have a bunch of duplicates. 167, that's a newsie. Uh, something tells me these are the better ones that I grabbed. So let's take a look here. Did get a couple ASMs. Uh, they're not minty, though. They actually have some spine ticks, I see. I don't think I noticed that when I was in there. Um, oh, you're going to see a lot of these. Secret Defenders number one. That was one of the ones that went crazy with the duplicates. There's a nice one. I did see a spine tick, though. That's okay. Uh, Moon Knight 35. Some nice key significance there. I think that actually could be one of the better books I picked up. Uh, I did get a couple of these. It's nice to see that they are newsstand, too. I think I got even more. Yeah, one, two, three, four copies of Superman, Adventures of Superman, 475, 474, which is a anti-DUI story. It's considered a classic Superman story. And it's a very different tone than what you remember. Looks like we got another first appearance of Max Blood Wolf. Okay. We do have uh, Adventures of Superman. What's it? 500. Polybag. Uh, X-Men 300. I can't remember what that is. I'm pretty sure it's something small. Um, Batman 4, 437. Not 436 or whatever. Uh, two ASM 351s. Nicer condition on those. That's good. Oh, here's another one. I grabbed this one. Beauty and the Beast number one. I grabbed it mainly because it was a newsstand. Here, no, here we go. X-Men number one. And you are about to see a lot of this next book. Superman 82. Some small key significance there. But I never find it still in the poly bag. And every single one I picked up was in the Bag. You're also going to see a lot of this next one here, Catwoman number one. There's tons of those. Here's another one, two, three, Superman 82s. Uh, Web of Spider-Man 100, NFL Super Pro 1. I told you you're going to see this again. Secret Defenders number one. Uh, random Thor book, I can't remember. If there is key significance there, some ASM. I grabbed this one just because it was an anniversary cover. Sure. Here's another Moon Knight 35. Two Darkhawk 25s, or maybe just one. I could have sworn I got two, but that's okay. Darkhawk 25. Um, I don't know why I grabbed this. I think I grabbed it by accident. Action Comics 690, but I mean, hey, it is at least the newsstand. Catwoman 1, 2. All right, another four... Catwoman number ones. Another one, two, three Superman 82s. Looks like two Superman zeros. Oh, the little value here. Two copies of Superman 53. That'll take it. That's those flag covers actually do a little bit well. 
All right, more Catwoman. Oh, another flag. Another flag poster. Another Catwoman number one. Uh, Superman 505. Superman 505. Superman 505. Superman 505. Another newsy of the DUI issue. X Men 152. X Men 164. X Men 160. X Men 188. 163. Oh, this is a nice one. Okay, good. X Men, excuse me, Iron Man 178. Forgot I grabbed that. Uh, 159. Uh, Star Trek number one motion picture. Captain Marvel 61. Another Superman flag cover. Second appearance of Doomsday. Avengers 363. Okay. Uh, another Catwoman number one. Another Catwoman number one. Another Catwoman number one. Uh, another Catwoman number one. Another Catwoman number one. Another Catwoman number one. Another Catwoman number one. Another, 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 another. <laughs> Two more Superman 82s. Secret Defenders number one. Uh, actually, two more Secret Defenders, number one. Uh, Detective 683, this might be the first appearance at the Iceberg Lounge. It might be. Another one of these, Avengers 363. Here it is, Dark Hawk 25. Oh my gosh, here we go. Two more Catwoman number ones. Man, if there's ever a Jim Balant signing, I'll know what to do. Four more Catwoman number ones. Jeez. I thought I grabbed a few. I didn't realize it was this many. Uh, Adventures of Superman 500 for Steel Eradicator. And I got another two of those, the variant. One, two, three, four more copies of the polybagged Superman 82. And we'll end it with one, two, three. Oh, excuse me, no. One. Two more copies of Superman 82, still polybagged, and an X-Men number one. Without even crunching the numbers, I can tell that this actually was worth the trip. So I'm glad, but I am so glad I cherry-picked because I would have been caught with some really rough bulk. I do believe that I grabbed the best stuff that was there. Now, I don't know if I was able to check out all the boxes. Like I said, I was kind of in a hurry, but I'm happy with what I got. I think I wish maybe there was a little bit more profit here, but that's just how it be. Sometimes I kind of took a gamble and I just wanted to get out. Other than that, pretty happy with it. As always, guys, keep on hunting. I'll see you at the next video. Make sure to come down to Sentiment Depot Antiques and Collectibles where I'm set up with all of my comics located at 238 West Delaware Ave, Pennington, New Jersey. Open every day except for Monday and Tuesday. Enjoy 10% off from Wednesday to Friday. See you there.